My daughter wants to move in after years abroad, but my wife says she isn't welcome. Now I'm stuck between two worlds. My wife and Anna have never been close because they only meet in person for our wedding when I was able to pay a ticket for my daughter to come. That was the last time I saw my daughter in person too. Playing tickets are too expensive. But they do tend to talk a little bit when I make video calls with Anna every day but not too much. Anna also talks to her brother and he likes her a lot even if they just see each other in video call. My wife says Anna is not going to feel comfortable in a house with strangers and I told her that we are literally her family and she said no. She and our toddler are not Anna's family because they barely knows her in person. It honestly hurts me that she thinks that way but I understand her point of view. Altaf our toddler is Anna's brother and it really annoyed me that she said that because our little one really loves his sister even if they just see each other online. I had an argument with my wife about it and I ended up telling her that my daughter will always come first of all, because it's true. For me my children will always come before any other person and she knew very well about my daughter when we married. My wife got angry and said that bringing Anna home would change how we handle ourselves and that she doesn't want to be a stepmother. She said that Anna lived with her mother in another continent so it's not the same as having her right here every day. I told her that no one is asking her to be a stepmother because I will be the one who take care of her as always. My daughter used to stay many days and even months with me and I was the one who took care of her. I'm not going to give my wife all the work because I was a single father for a long time and I know how to take care of my daughter. I work, I clean, I cook. I take full care of our son when she works and wants to go out and do something just like she does with me. We both support each other in raising our son. I don't know why many people is so shocked about the fact that I take responsibility out of my own child but that if she doesn't respect my daughter's presence in the house and hates it that much then she has all the freedom to go to a hotel room. I was a big idiot because those words obviously ended up really bad and we had a worse argument. My daughter has every right to live in my house if she wants but my wife doesn't want that. I really love my wife but my biggest focus is to give the best to my children and I would love to have my princess here after years. My wife hasn't been talking to me at all and she's very angry but she does continue with the same stance that she doesn't want Anna here at all and I know I will get angry and we will end up arguing again because I'm not going to leave my daughter alone neither. Edit. My wife always knew that Anna lived with me several days a week when she was still in the country because I talked with her about that and the possibility of Anna's family returning to the country if things went wrong. That would have meant that Anna would come back to live with me for many days or even months like she always did. My daughter used to come at my house every day too. My wife agreed with that years ago when we talked about that but now admits that she thought my daughter was going to stay out of the country with her mother because their business is going really well. Throw RA because my daughter uses Reddit too. I changed some data to not make it too obvious. Edit 2. Guys, I've been reading the comments nonstop for two hours and I have too much to think about. Thank you very much for the advice, whether bad or good this is helping me to reflect on several things that I did not take into account. But please don't be so harsh because I'm a real person. Update. First of all I want to clarify that I am from a third world country. Here it is really expensive to get a plane ticket and if I travel I must do it with my wife and our son too so it is too much money that we cannot pay. I let my daughter's mother take her to another country because like every father, I want her to have better life opportunities. I don't think that makes me a bad father but I guess the minds that have always lived in privilege don't understand. The last time I could afford some tickets was for my daughter to come to the wedding. Not all of us have the privilege of paying for a plane flight. I've been thinking a lot and in fact I'm the OB because of the way I treated my wife. Even if most of the comments agreed with me, I don't think it was right to say that to the woman I love even though I was angry. I apologized to her for what I said and the way I said it but I told her that I don't like it when she ignores me and gives me the cold shoulder when I try to talk about our issues and the fact that she denied the familiarity between our son and daughter was just cruel. She apologized for it and said she was angry and said things she regret. I made it clear to her that Anna is coming because no one can forbid any of my children to live with me, not only morally but legally. I am totally obligated to give my daughter and son a house. She tried to argue but I asked her how she would feel if we divorced and my new girlfriend refuses to let our son live with me just because she didn't sign up for it. I asked her if she would appreciate a man who abandons his children for a woman more than a man who cares about his children. If she would feel confident knowing that she is married to a man who abandons his children that easily. My wife said no. That obviously she knows how much I care about our children and hates the kind of mans who abandons their kids. That she knew she wanted to have a child with me because she saw how even though my daughter was so far away I made video calls to her every day and we always help each other with things around the house. Then I asked her why she rejects the idea of my daughter being here and she admitted being jealous of Anna. It is something that I have noticed in the past. For example, for one of my daughter's birthday I sent money to her mother to buy her a dress that was quite expensive and my wife just said I guess you will buy our son something just as expensive. It was my mistake to let those comments pass and think they were just a weird joke. She said that she doesn't want my daughter to come and took time away from our son. That bothered me and I told her that if we had two children my time would also be divided and that as a father I can give the same attention to both. Changing our routine doesn't have to be a negative thing and she knows that Anna is not a problem teenager. We talked a lot and I explained to her that I just want to make everything work for both of us. 
I apologized if I made her feel bad with the way I treated her and I told her that I want to really hear what things are bothering her so we can understand each other better. We agreed to have better dialogue and communication about this kind of things. My wife admitted that her jealousy is wrong and feels embarrassed about it but it's how she feels and she feels awful for feeling like that. I told her that feeling isn't right, being jealous of my daughter isn't right and I told her that it would be okay to start going to the psychologist if we want to fix this because I'm not going to leave my daughter live in a place where she doesn't feel loved. My wife accepted after talking about it a lot these days and she wants to work on herself about that because doesn't like feeling like that about a little girl and knows it's wrong. My wife and daughter always had a nice treatment. When I make video calls with Anna, my wife usually talks a little but not that much. I think my mistake was not offering my wife to make video calls alone with Anna like Anna does with my toddler sometimes. My daughter really likes my wife and calls her auntie even if they don't know each other too well so I don't want her to know how my wife really feels about her. I offered my wife to teach her how to play the same video game I play with my daughter so they can play together and get to know each other more. I know Anna would love that. They both have a lot of same interests. She accepted and said she loves me and wants to try it for me and for our toddler. If I leave my wife I would be breaking my son's house. He's my baby too and the last thing I want is letting adult matters affect him. I don't want to do that and I love this woman. I want this to work and I'm going to do my part for it but the first moment she treats my daughter badly, I will end things with her and I clarified that to her and she was right with that and promised me to work on this. I still haven't confirmed anything to Anna's mother about the date on which our daughter can come since I need to fix the room for her first and I want my wife and little girl to get to know each other better. Talking about it with my psychologist, he told me that the best thing is always to get them closer little by little before Anna comes to live here. This last four days my wife and Anna have been talking longer and I told Anna that we could teach my wife how to play with us. Anna feels really comfortable talking with my wife and about random things which I feel out of because I don't understand about the things they talk about but I'm pretty glad to see that they actually have things to talk about. I suppose a lot of people are going to call me an idiot for not divorcing my wife because that was what most of the comments told me but it's not all that simple as yeah we argued so let's get divorced and have 50 50th custody and I personally think it's been better for us to have spoken up like mature people instead of just getting divorced. Seeing that my wife has opened up to me and is trying to work things out, I prefer to give this a second chance and hope that she can see my daughter as her friend and even as her family if she allows it to herself. Your wife is going to treat your daughter badly no one can read the future to say that but I can work to make that future not happen. In the meantime I prefer to maintain a positive approach since my wife has never behaved badly with my daughter and my daughter knows that if she feels uncomfortable she knows she can talk about it with her mom stepdad or me as we always teach her to talk to us about anything that makes her uncomfortable. Anna has a sharp tongue so I doubt she'll stay quiet if my wife makes any comments that make her uncomfortable. I'm not going to force them to be best friends I want them both to flow on their own. I'm also not going to use my daughter as a free babysitter as many in the comments suggested as a supposed solution and both she and her brother can live in this house as long as they want. Final update I didn't really think about updating again but I remembered that I have the account and I thought why not since I have free time in this moment while I take care of my toddler. My daughter and my wife's relationship is going very well they both make video calls to watch some series together that they both like they have even started to have inside jokes that I don't understand but I think that's something good although to be honest now I feel a little left out just joking. My wife has been going to the psychologist and me too I want both of us to get better together to work on her insecurities and problems because she knows that feeling jealous of my daughter is not good at all and a few weeks ago she talked to my daughter about her feelings towards her and apologized. My daughter was quite surprised to learn that my wife felt this way but accepted the apology and told her that she understands her. I left them talking alone that day so they have privacy and after that they have had a closer bond. My wife said that my daughter told her that she will always respect someone who is sincere and wants to be a better person. In the previous post many said that I decided to bring my daughter without talking about it with my wife before but that's literally what I did. I never confirmed anything to the mother of my daughter until I spoke with my wife. I was never the partner of my daughter's mother. By the way many comments mentioned her as my ex-wife but we were never anything. The talk about bringing my daughter back was paused because I wanted them to know each other better before living all together but my wife started to talk about how she wants to the bedroom and rejected all my ideas because they're too boring for a girl so she's having fun redecorating the room with our toddler who's really happy to see his sister in person. We still didn't arrange to date because my daughter's mother have to talk with her high school for the problems there and everything and I have to prepare everything here too but all is going well step by step. 